I've been around the real estate industry since I was a little kid. My grandfather and my father were in the real estate industry. And so growing up, all I really knew was real estate. And from the time I was in the fourth grade, I gave a presentation to my fourth grade class on how to read working blueprints. So I've been doing this a long time. I think the most significant challenge that I've had in my career was not getting carried away with the hype and the exuberance of the marketplace in 2004, 5, 6, and 7 to the point where I, where I could have easily over leveraged. So I think the most difficult thing was just having that discipline. I think that was the most difficult thing because I watched so many of my friends and so many of my colleagues and they were feasting on debt and they were having a wonderful time and they got to do so many projects and I had to just watch from the sidelines saying, you know what, this isn't making economic sense. You know, my advice would be to try to learn from those that have already been down a lot of those roads. And, you can read every book there is and you can think that you can figure out every situation there is. And I personally have been involved in more than um, 11 million square feet of projects in my career so far. And I can guarantee you that every day I think that I learn a little something new. So never think you know it all in this business because you'll get a surprise. difference in the communities that I've worked in and for example we've done some incredible redevelopment repositioning projects that um, have literally changed neighborhoods um, areas of our city and I'm really proud of that and probably just as um, important and that I'm just as proud of is the fact that we've been able to work with a lot of charitable organizations um, that have definitely made a difference. We work with people like Goodwill Industries and I get to go over and watch the results. I get to watch the people learning a new trade and I get to watch how they're going to um, be able to go out and, and be productive again. So we're able to give somebody not necessarily a handout but a hand up. And so also being able to work with some of the other great organizations that I've been fortunate enough to be able to work with um, you know, in, in that world, I think just means so much to me. And you know, if I can continue, I guess when people ask me, if you have a goal, what is it? Um, my goal really is to be able to continue to the best I can to make um, our communities a better place one day and one project at a time.